Hey guys and welcome. I am Kate and this is going to be a quick vinyasa practice, a kickstarter if you will to get you motivated, to get you out of a funk, get you moving and bring some energy back into your step. So grab a couple blocks if you've got them, find a quiet spot, roll out your mat and I'll see you in a few. All right guys, so we're going to get started right off the bat. Come on up. I'm going to stand at the top of your mat. Find your Tadasana, your mountain pose, feet underneath you, feel your shoulders relax, let your arms be heavy but energetic as you stretch down through your fingertips and push into the earth with your feet and feel some energy draw up the length of your spine and into your crown of your head here. And take just a couple breaths, steady and strong in your stance. And on your next inhale, you're going to sweep your arms out and up. When you exhale, grab that left wrist with your right hand, lengthen up, and take a nice gentle lean over to the right, drawing up and over through those left fingertips, root down into your left foot. Then inhale, come on back up, and we're going to switch. Right wrist into the left hand, lengthen up, and come out and over. Feel that right side body pull gently apart as you press into that right foot. Inhale, come all the way up, reach your arms. When you exhale, dive over your legs, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, press into the floor, stretch your spine long. Exhale and fold. Push into your feet, come all the way back up, Urdhva Hastasana, reach. Exhale, hands down through center. Inhale, come out and up. Exhale and dive forward. Halfway lift, get long. Exhale and fold, root into those feet, rise up, or Vahasasana, inhale, hands down through center, last time, inhale, down, out, and up, exhale and fold, warming up those legs, inhale, halfway lift, exhale and fold, press into your feet, come back up to the top, inhale, and exhale, draw your hands down through center. Take a moment here, close your eyes. All right, on your next inhale, you're gonna open your eyes, release your hands. Let's take it a little deeper. Inhale, reach it up, exhale and fold. Halfway lift, lengthen out. When you exhale, step the right foot back. Big step to the back of the mat. Inhale, get long. Exhale, step the left foot back in a plank and lower down, knees, chest, chin, chaturanga. Inhale, press it up, baby cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, pull it back. Find your downward facing dog and we're gonna take a couple of moments here since this is our first one. We're not gonna spend a lot of time on any one, any one pose. Just kind of flowing, get the energy moving. But for a moment, can use your down dog to start to work into the shoulders, the backs of your legs. All right, inhale, sweep that right leg up. Exhale, step it up between your thumbs. Lower the back knee. Anjaneyasana, inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the floor, step it up. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Press into those feet, rise up. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, hands down through center. Let's do the other side. Inhale, reach it out and up. And fold, nice long spine. Halfway lift. Step your left leg back. See, on those fingertips, sink your hips, stretch your heart forward, inhale. Exhale, through plank. Vinyasa how you want to. And stretch the chest forward. And pull your hips back. A couple of breaths here. Let yourself recalibrate. Sway through the hips if you want. Check out your head, move your shoulders. All right, left leg's gonna float up, inhale. Exhale, step it up between your thumbs. Lower that right knee. Anjaneyasana, inhale. 
exhale hands to the floor step it up uttanasana halfway lift stretch your heart forward and fold press into your feet come all the way up and bring your hands down through center for a moment here close your eyes and bring your attention to your breath and feel the beating of your heart slowly picked up maybe and feel how that has moved energy already in your body waking up getting rid of any stale junk all right open your eyes release your hands let's add on inhale or reach it out and up exhale dive uttanasana halfway lift step that right leg back big giant breath in get super long exhale through plank vinyasa stretch your heart forward and pull those hips back oh yeah okay float your right leg up inhale and when you exhale step your right foot up i'm gonna come into a warrior one virabhadrasana one so root through the feet and come all the way up sink your weight evenly through both feet but feel where you can really press into that outer edge of your left foot nice full breath here and then exhale bring your hands down through prayer gonna shift your chest forward so we come forward over this right thigh shoulder blades in keep the core strong and we're gonna come with that right leg still bent into a vera three variation here a little digasana inhale slowly come up to stand draw your left knee into your chest and when you exhale we're going to step this left foot back warrior two stretch the arms up and then out sink a little deeper into that right thigh and fire up your inner left thigh inhale straighten that right leg exhale come out and over trikonasana and draw the legs in toward each other. Imagine that you could keep pulling the legs in. And as you do, draw that energy up through the legs. And then take the tailbone, lengthen it down. And the crown of your head is going to stretch it forward. <sighs> Press into both feet. Inhale, come on back up. Exhale, warrior two. <sighs> Deep breath here. And then windmill that left hand down to the floor. Pivot on the ball of your back foot stretch your spine forward inhale and then exhale take your twist ah, nice deep breath and right hand to the floor step it back downward facing dog ah, take your gaze forward come high under the balls of your feet you're gonna hop it up top of the mat nice and light uttanasana lengthen on your inhale and let it go Press into those feet. Rise. Urdhva Hastasana. Sweep it up. And then drag it down through center. Inhale. Out and up. Exhale and fold. Halfway lift. And as you exhale, you're going to fold. Step that left leg back. Get nice and long. Inhale. Reach your chest. Exhale. Back through plank. And vinyasa. Stretch your heart forward and downward facing dog float your left leg up inhale and exhale <laughs> step it forward warrior one root through that right heel come on up and feel where you can really anchor down into the floor power into the legs and then draw that energy up through your belly and through the sides of your body into your fingertips hands come down through prayer shoulder blades into the back shift your torso forward and shift onto that left foot and then nice and easy we're going to float that right leg up keep your inner right thigh rolling toward the floor slowly come up to stand drawing that right knee into your chest then we're going to swing this right leg back warrior two step it back and then root down 
sometimes we feel like we get stuck, right? And then we feel almost like we're kind of bogged down. But I think sometimes it comes from not being connected, right? So feel your feet press into the floor. So being rooted here is much different than being bogged down, being stuck. Because then you can start to draw energy up through the roots, right? You can pull it up and you can find it and extend it back out. Inhale, straighten that left leg. And exhale, come out and over. Trikonasana, find your triangle pose and use that energy. Hug the belly in, feel the ribs draw toward each other. And imagine that you could get even bigger here. Expand in all directions. Take up space. Press into your feet, reach to this right hand. Inhale, come all the way up. When you exhale, warrior two. Find your breath here. And then windmill this right hand down to the floor. Pivot on the ball of that back foot. Lengthen again on your inhale. And when you exhale, take that twist. Keep the right thigh lifted. Keep the outer left hip drawing back. Deep inhale. And then exhale, left hand comes to the floor. Step it back again, downward facing dog. Take your gaze forward. Come high into the balls of your feet, bend your knees, and we're gonna hop it up, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale and fold. Press into your feet, come out and up, reach it up and draw your hands down through prayer. So we're gonna do that same thing. Just add a little hop to get us a little bit more momentum rolling, okay? All right, inhale, out and up. Exhale and fold, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Exhale, step that right leg back. It's super long in your lunge, sink the hips. And then back through plank, lower through your vinyasa. and pull your hips high. Okay, so now you're gonna take your left leg and float it up. And your left leg is gonna be like your sail, right? So we're gonna come high into the right, the ball of the right foot. Take your gaze forward, and we're just gonna hop this right foot to the right thumb. Ready? Hop it forward, hop it back. Yeah, use the left leg to give you a little momentum. We're gonna do it two more times. Hop it forward, hop it back. One more time, hop it forward, hop it back, ready? Hop it forward, last time, set that left foot to the floor, inhale, come up, warrior one. All right, now the heart's beating a little bit more, a little more energy rolling through, it's all good. Hands come to prayer, feel the shoulder blades draw in, then we're gonna take the hands, interlace your fingers behind the back, squeeze the shoulders in, hug the upper arms toward the midline, Tilt your torso forward. Start to take that weight into your right foot. Keep the right knee bent and float this left leg up. And as you reach the knuckles back, stretch your chest forward. Slowly now, we're gonna come up to stand. Pull the left knee in. And then step it back, warrior two. And again, feel yourself rooted. And from that strong foundation, you can draw energy up. You can feel it moving around. Straighten your right leg. Triangle pose out and over. Feel this right hip crease deepen. And then drop the hand. You can grab a block if you want it. Start to roll that right rib cage under. Feel the left rib cage roll. So the movement doesn't come from this left shoulder, but it comes from the twist of the torso, the rolling open of the chest. Keep drawing in. Here we go, press into the feet, reach to that left hand. I'm gonna come back up into your warrior two. Inhale, exhale, left hand to the floor, lengthen on your inhale, and then find your twist. Ring it out. Inhale, exhale, right hand to the floor. We step it back, downward facing dog. 
All right, come high into the balls of your feet. We're gonna hop again, right? This time, both feet forward into Uttanasana, bend your knees, hips high. When you exhale, hop it up. <laughs> Not always pretty. Inhale, halfway lift, nor does it have to be. Exhale and fold. Press into your feet, come out and up. Bring your hands through prayer. Other side. Last time, inhale, reach. Exhale and fold. Halfway lift. And let it go. Step that left leg back. Inhale, nice and long. Exhale through your plank. Last vinyasa. And pull it back. All right, so we're gonna get floaty again, right? Trying to get unstuck. <laughs> so we're gonna get hoppy instead. Take your right leg and lift it up. And let this right leg do a little bit of the work. Gaze forward, take a breath in. When you exhale, hop it forward. Hop it back. Maybe it only goes a little bit forward. Hop it forward. Hop it back. Last one. Hop it forward. Hop it back. Here we go, we're gonna come up. And we're gonna stick it this time. Stick the landing. <laughs> right foot to the floor. Root through that right heel. Zero one. Sink down. And breathe. Yes. All right, hands come to prayer. Feel your shoulders soften. And take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers so funky pinkies on top, right? Start to pull the shoulder blades in. Hug the upper arms toward the midline. <laughs> Here we go. You're gonna tilt forward. Shift your weight into that left foot. Keep that left knee bent. And breathe. Here we go, inhale. And then slowly, as you exhale, we're gonna stand and draw your right knee in. From here, <laughs> warrior two, step it back. Whoop. Do, 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 <laughs> you made it. All right, so now root through those feet. Strengthen the legs, feel your muscles hug to your bones. Let your breath deepen. Yeah. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, Trikonasana. And take the torso, feel it roll open, expand through the collarbones, hug the ribs in, and then this top arm can stretch just straight out of the socket. If you wanna take your gaze up, you can, or forward. I like to look down. But feel how your core muscles can really support the length of your spine here as you hug in and then extend outward. Press into your feet, reach through this right hand. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, warrior two. Full breath here. And then you're gonna windmill this right hand down to the floor. Inhale, find the length again. And exhale, twist it out. Deep breath. And then left hand to the floor. Step it back, downward facing dog. Close your eyes for just a moment. Feel where your hands root into the mat. And then draw energy up through your arms, up through the length of your spine. And let some of it disperse down the back of your legs. Take another breath here. And when you exhale, lower your knees to the mat. Sweep your feet to one side and take a seat. You're gonna come all the way down onto your back, feet hips distance apart, arms right alongside the body. Start to shuffle your shoulder blades in. And then from here, you're gonna root through the upper arms Press into your heels and lift your hips. So to Bandasana, find a bridge pose. When in doubt, back bends always help to increase your flow of energy. Inhale. And exhale, slowly lower it down. Two more. 
press into your feet. Inhale, lift it up. You can start to walk the arms underneath you, squeezing the shoulder blades in, interlace the fingers. Press through the fists, press gently into the center of the back of your head. And breathe. Another inhale. And when you exhale, release your hands and lower down. Last one. If you've got a wheel and you want to practice a wheel, that's perfectly fine. If you want to go for a supported bridge, you can grab your block and throw a supported uh, block underneath your <laughs> sacrum there. Throw yourself into a supported bridge. I'm just going to do one more hands clasped bridge style thing here, right? <laughs> bridge style. Press into your feet and lift your hips, but pick your poison. And keep anchoring through your heels. Feel your inner thighs start to roll toward the floor. And that starts to release the squeezing of your cheeks, right, in toward each other. And then fires up the glutes. You do have to use your glutes here, but you don't want to super crunch in the glutes and then let everything kind of fly out to the side. But try to root through the heels and feel where the glutes fire right underneath your sitting bones. Inhale. And then exhale, release your hands, lower down. Take the soles of your feet together, let the knees drop out to the sides, and maybe rock a little bit side to side. And then bring your knees up, bring your feet wide, and let your knees kind of bonk in toward each other. Arms out to the sides, let both knees drop gently to the right. And then come on up through the middle, let your knees bunk gently to the left. And then come on back up through the middle and hug both knees in for a moment here. Then you're going to roll to your right and come on up, press into your hands and you can find a blanket or a block. You're going to take a seat for a moment. So we don't want to go full into our Shavasana. We're trying to get some energy flowing, right? So we're going to stay um, in a Sukhasana, in a comfortable seat. So let your eyes close. We won't stay here long, but enough to reconnect, right? So soften in. And as you start to surrender the weight of your body down, feel that energy you've moved around from your practice and let it lengthen back up through the crown of your head. And without being too stiff or too tense in your posture, keep feeling that energetic stretching upward. And at the same time, you can feel that energetic press down, that energy press down into the floor. So it's this flow up, and down and up so we're rooted but also not stuck. And take the next few moments just to feel your breath, to feel the energy in your body, the energy that you created. And then slowly bring your hands into Anjali Mudra in front of your heart and bow your head. Take a moment to seal some of that energy in. And take a moment too to check in with how you feel after your practice. To know that the work that you put in definitely brings benefits. When you make some time for yourself there is always benefit. Hopefully we got some energy, some motivation back 
some more pep into your step. Thanks for spending a bit of your day with me. I look forward to seeing you again. Namaste.